Hello, it's Jordan here today and we're going to be taking a look at how to apply metallic base coats to reduce the chances of stripiness, patchiness and any other defects that we can get during the application of metallics. Now, first of all, we're degreasing and tack clothing the panel off. This is to remove any traces of dirt or any dust nibs that can arise on the panel during the application of the base coat, causing us trouble later on. Another thing that I do recommend during the preparation of panels for metallic base coat is using a stack gun. This helps eliminate the static charge that's built up on the panels prior to painting, causing defects later on with both the metallics and dust and dirt nibs attracting onto the panel. Now we're going to go ahead and apply the water-based base coat metallic and for this task we're using a 1.3 HVLP setup and the spray gun is a Wacom Carbonio. So we're actually applying a light three-quarter coat to a dust coat. Now, although some manufacturers don't recommend this on their system, I generally do this myself out of habit because I find it helps lay the base coat nicely on the second coat. If I don't do this three-quarter coat or a dust coat, it tends to silicon up um, and go like fish eye, but it's not silicon, it just separates sometimes. So this is why I do this and it's kind of just force of habit, um, you know, and I generally find that my base coat does lie nicer by doing this. But that's not to say that it is the right or wrong way. Um, if you get good results without doing this, that is fine. Okay, so now we're going to apply one full coat and this is the tricky part or the part what you need to get right to help prevent defects or problems happening later on. So first of all we need to make sure that our overlap is nice and even and not too far away from each other causing stripiness. The second is we don't want to over apply the base coat but again we don't want to under apply it which means applying it too dry. As you may know applying it too heavy is going to cause the metallic to be darker. Applying it too light is going to cause the metallic to be too light. So we need to be somewhere in the middle where we're applying it just right to achieve that proper metallic lay down that we want. Now we've applied one full coat of the paint, we're going to go ahead and dry the base coat. As you know with water based it takes a long time to naturally dry. So we're going to use a Wacom Eco Dry Light or the Wacom THJR. Both of these are adequate enough to dry the base coat without causing any issues. Now we've applied one more full wet coat to achieve the coverage and now I'm finishing off with a drop coat. Now I've set the pressure to 1.5 bar and I'm slowly misting the metallic onto the panel letting it lie down super smooth to remove any patchiness or stripiness that we can get. Now we've finished applying the drop coat we can dry it and we're ready for clear coat. Some colours may vary and you may need one to three drop coats depending on the colour and how bad the metallics laid down in the first place. Once it's dry we can go ahead and apply the clear coat. When applying the drop coat make sure that you apply it a light even mist coat and kind of waving the gun on the panel rather than going edge to edge and triggering off. Again this is just what I recommend on how to apply the metallic base coat. Different manufacturers and different tech guys will tell you different methods and they will all work, it just depends on the painter and how you feel comfortable applying the paint. Thank you for watching the HVLP application and let's take a look at the HTE application. Okay so we're about to put one full coat of water-based metallic back on the panel and we've already started by putting a quarter coat on and we're going to go ahead and apply one full coat. Now this is the Wacom HTE which is not HVLP technology, this is actually a different type of technology which you will see coming up on quite a few guns now where it actually uses a higher pressure at the air cap rather than the lower pressure um, that is used on HVLP setups. What you will find with this kind of setup is it atomizes the paint a lot finer and it's almost um, like a mist rather than the HVLP setup gives off. So what does this HD mean and what does this type of technology do to our metallics? Well this actually applies the metallic a lot finer and a lot drier and this can be good in some cases. So what this gun is doing is breaking that metallic down a little bit more than it would on a HVLP. 
Now this is going to apply it more drier and more even so this can actually be a good thing with metallics due to how difficult it can be to lay the metallic base down. As you can see the base coat is applying very smooth and very even. There's no stripiness and no build up and no unevenness that you can see from the application of the full wet coat which you would sometimes get on HVLP. Some water based paint systems contain transparent colours such as blue, red and yellow. This can cause trouble when applying metallics due to these inks or transparent colours rising to the top of the base coat when over applied. Sometimes this can be seen on the edges of panels where build up is quite easy to get. A spray gun such as the HDE setup will help eliminate this problem. As you can see I'm applying a drop coat here at 1.5 bar, quite far away this time, very quick but quite a tight overlap. And as you can see it's laid the metallic super smooth and ready for clear coat. Generally I'd say the HVLP setup is very quick and more wetter and the HDE is a bit slower and drier. So it depends on the painter's application to determine what setup you need.